Welcome back to the channel friends, it is great to be here and I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be running some Tales and Tactics and I must admit, I've been having a blast with this game, I really do like it. However, I also acknowledge that the full run creates like a 90 minute video and I want to be conscious of everybody's time. So luckily we do have another option here and that is the PvP multiplayer arena. So I think we're going to delve into that today. So to do so we simply just click play and we go to multiplayer. Then we have the option of ranked and unranked. We're going ranked here. We're going to aim high. So let's rock and roll. And while we're rocking and rolling here, my friends, if you're enjoying the content here on the channel, then please consider becoming a subscriber. We'd love to have you in the community. And I thank you so much for your viewership. So let's see. What do we have here? We have four starting characters with four starting decks, right? So let's see. Each character has traits. So earn one extra gold per combat. After five combats, this increases to two gold. Purchase a component, gain two star points. Sacrifice Hex. Start with a primary banner box and a dweller start. Do we go with the skeleton start here? Maybe try to make like a super Crosby. Let's do that. Let's do the toll troll. Give us some more gold as well. Let's go. Yeah, like I said, I've really been enjoying this game and I think the PvP is probably... The best format for content of this game here on the channel. And that's because it cuts out all of the story, right? So, there's usually a long-winded story when you start a new run. Well, the PvP just kind of gets you right into the battles, gets you right into the action. And I'm sure that that's what you fine folks want to see. The battles. So let's start things off here. Let's add Skull to the mix. We have Ian as well. Yeah, I mean, we're all in on the undead, right? Another Ian. You bet. Okay, cool. So we have the option to add four. I think we go with two tanks on the front and an Ian in the back. We have a sword and we have a staff. So the sword is going to help us do extra damage. I mean, I think it's a fine item for Crosby. Staff for more spell power. 15% damage amplification I think I'm gonna hold on to that maybe we can combine it down the road all right looking good let's go ahead and hop into our first battle here and like I said it's definitely more of a quick hitting format and that's kind of what I like about it so let's see if we can kind of space out our tanks just a little bit let's get some more support here this guy does have Monty very powerful ranged unit, so hopefully we can hold on. Let's do something like this. Let's see how we do. Let's go. Gotta take out the Shelly here. So let's hope everybody focuses on them. And let's also hope our skeleton holds up. So we do have some skeleton synergy, right? That's gonna mean we're coming back after battle. So even if we do lose, there's still a chance we can kind of pull something out of nowhere. I, I guess we'll find out. So, you see the respawning effect here? Shoot Monty, man. Somebody's got to take him out. I think we can win if we take out Monty. Yeah, we're not going to win. Man, somebody needed to take out Monty, for real. So, when you lose, you do lose a heart. You have four hearts. Obviously, if you're out of hearts, you lose. And the goal is to win ten rounds. Not in sequential order, but just 10 rounds in general. So we're well on our way to being retired early here. Let's go with the gloves. Throw those on Crosby to combine with the sword. And then the staff we can... I mean, I do think magic power is pretty good. Does make it special stronger, you know? Let's see, what else do we have? We can get a common duplicator. I think that's useful. It's a good use of our cash. Get another Crosby on the field. Let's invest. Let's go ahead and roll. We have Capri. Do we go with a Maurice here? We will get the Marksman Synergy. I think so. 
Let's do it. So let's add a few caprices to the mix. And that'll be about it for us. I'm sorry, I called this guy Caprice. I meant Maurice. And now we get this little target dummy. Which is very nice. Kind of help slow their advance on us. Alright, so let's see. What are we dealing with here? Looks like well, it's a ghoul fighter deck. So let's do something like this. And then the most important thing is that Crosby survives. He's our main DPS guy. So let's see. Let's see if the attack dummy can kind of keep them at bay long enough. Looks like it does its job long enough. Except for now it's tank on a few of our more fragile ranged units. But Crosby does his thing and can he hang on? We're going to find out. Coming back. Boom. That's right. Nice job. All right, so we get a slew of star tokens there and a level up. So what do we have? Free rerolls, Book of Banishment. Shops can sell up to two more. Fighter archetype gains 20% attack damage. Crosby is uh, considered a magic archetype. Secondary banner box. Necromancy. Gain a tier one copy of the first enemy unit that dies each combat. Good way to farm some star tokens, for sure. I think I'm going to go with the secondary banner box. Let's hope we get something decent here. Let's go. And we get a stalker war banner. Okay. Are there any skeleton stalkers? There are not. Marksman stalkers? There are not. Okay, so that's not a very effective one for us to get. But it was worth a shot. It definitely was. So let's get this Lucky Clover. Let's go ahead and get... The Tearing Upgrade to Uncommon. Let's use the Lucky Clover on Crosby. And let's summon... Do we like the Shreds? Dumblegore? Let's go with Dumblegore. Another backline unit. I'm cool with that. And then we can get him in the mix as well. Probably pull out Ian for now. Throw Dumblegore in there. See if he can do a bit better of a job. Let's grab some gloves, which increases attack speed, of course. Gloves and staff gives you the magic cannon. Yeah, sure. We'll do it. Pretty much out of star tokens. So let's go ahead and see how this setup does. Fresh off a win here. A target dummy. Move him down there and have our units kind of focus on this mass right here. Let's go. Alright, so this guy is coming in hot. Just kind of teleports around it seems. Alright, so this isn't a good combination. However, we do have Crosby unleashing a special, and of course, we do have the bonus of reanimation. Which leads to the win. The better player with the better army won this day. Alright, so continuing on here, let's see. So we do have uncommons available to us. There is another uncommon skeleton out there, the Shret. That we should probably consider adding to the mix. For sure. So let's go ahead and roll. I mean, we can invest. I should probably just invest right away. And get our army size up. Get Ian back in the mix. Let's roll. And roll. Anything? Literally nothing. Wow. I'm going to save my last three star tokens. Let's get an uncommon duplicator. Or we could go with the common duplicator and a weapon. Or a piece of gear, right? Maybe that's better use of our 
Yeah, let's get a pair of gloves and a common duplicator. Call that good. Throw the pair of gloves on. You guessed it, Crosby. And also duplicate them. We're getting them up to tier 3 real soon here. Alright, I think I am satisfied with this, so let's go. And what do we have? It's a 4 on 4. It's like a dragon deck. Not crazy about a dragon deck, if I'm being honest. Let's do something like this. Let's pad Crosby in. Keep him alive. Let's go. Our front line needs a massive upgrade, that's for sure. I mean, he's already down. We do have the benefit of resurrection, of course. But we have to do enough damage up until that point. I mean, it's a... Uh, it's going to be a 2 on what? 3? 2 on 4? 2 on 3? Yeah, 2 on 3. One guy is critically injured. And we managed to win Necromancy. It's, I mean, it's pretty good. Right? The ability to come back. It's also the reason why you want to have, you know, skeleton units. Like, Maurice isn't really doing too much, but he does give us another frontline presence. Which I suppose is nice. Alright, what do we have? We have a ring. I think the ring is the right choice here. Throw that right on Crosby again. Now we get these nice Claws of Haste. Just greatly increases his attack speed. Common Duplicator, yes, you bet. Gotta get him tiered up. So if you haven't realized yet, yeah, we're kind of all in on Crosby here. He's kind of important to the war effort. Let's get our army size upgraded. We can throw Ian back in the mix. But first, let's see what we have by way of reroll. Another Crosby. Absolutely. Do I risk it here? I mean, it is a... Two-star tokens. I don't love it. In fact, what I could do is I could sell... Probably sell Maurice and invest. Let's do that instead. I like that better. And let's get Ian in the mix. Just another unit to come back from the dead, of course. And let's go. He's got healers. So they certainly do have a lot more HP than we do, don't they? But we're kind of playing this all in on Crosby. And we are definitely playing the Rebirth, right? So let's see if this is enough. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's going to be. A lot of weak units on the field, though. We got three of them down. And it's a two-on-one suddenly. And Crosby does his thing with his massive attack speed. Gotta love to see that, my friends. All right, so four wins. Just one loss. Started off a little bit rocky, but starting to gain some traction here. So what do we have? Another level up. Black Market Catnip. We have Infusion. Plus four mana regen. Starts combat stunned. I don't like that. First time one of your units gets a kill each combat, attain a copy of it. First time one of your units gets a kill each combat, get a copy of it. Your range units gain plus 20 attack speed and plus 1 range. I think that's probably the best for us. Yeah, we're definitely going with that. More speed. A little bit of range. We do have a lot of ranged units, don't we? Sure do. Alright, Defiler War Banner. That's not going to do us too much good. So I can upgrade the rarity right now. And that will give us access to whom exactly? We could go with Sargon. Okay. I think I like that. Let's do it. Let's get the Lucky Clover. And let's summon to the field Sargon. Could also go with Wolfgang. This guy is super tempting. He's so strong. He really is. But this does give us our fifth skeleton, which is important. 
I think maybe down the road we can add in Wolfgang as well to synergize. Just swap him out for Maurice. But for the time being. I mean, do we swap him out for Maurice? I think we do. I don't really think Maurice is doing anything useful. He gives us the target dummy, I suppose. But that's about it. So what kind of good items can we get? Our boy Sargon here. Attack speed buckler. Do we go in the attack speed direction with him? Let's go with the buckler because he's going to need a little bit of survivability for sure being on our very weak and foldable chair-like front line. All right. So we got our first rare. Looking to add Wolfgang to the mix eventually. And we also have 5 of 5 for the skeleton. Meaning when our skeletons return, they return with full mana and ready to use their special attacks. All right. So this guy has Gibbs. Goes invisible. Alright, let's do something like this again. Just got Crosby shielded in. We get plus one range with this. So our unit should stay in place. So let's go. Alright, let's see how this goes. I mean, so far so good. Crosby's hanging in there. He's doing his thing, and of course we still have the full reanimation, right? So yeah, cool. This guy goes invisible. Cool, man. Cool little gimmick he got there. <laughs> cool little gimmick he got there. That's a loss they won't soon forget. All right, so our fifth win is racked up here and getting some serious momentum with the necromancy deck. Or the skeleton deck, I suppose you could call it. All right, so... You, Sargon, you have a shield available to you. What would we like to combine the shield with? Plus 25% lifesteal. I mean, that kind of sounds good, doesn't it? I think so. So let's do that. Give him the Blessed Blade. Boom. Okay, gotta love that. We got a rare duplicator, but we can't afford it. We can get... Let's roll here first and see what we have. I could just outright sell Maurice and just move off of him completely. And we could sell like Skull or Ian. One of the more uninspiring units that we have and then invest. We could do that. I'm kind of tempted to do that. I mean, Ian hitting for 65. Like, Skull literally just melts. I mean, I realize we need to get him a few tier ups. But he literally just melts. Immediately. I'm kind of enamored by the prospect of investing this turn. So we can max out our team next turn. Let's keep Skull. He's one of the few frontliners that we have. Let's go ahead and invest. Let's roll a few times, see if we get anything that we'd like to add once we have some star tokens back. Just not seen anything. Whole bunch of nothing. Okay, here's a Sargon. So that's good. Okay, cool. Very good. Alright, the cash. Let's see, what do we do with this? So we get 10 per turn. Definitely want to get these two rare duplicators that are available. So that means we could go with an uncommon... Let's go with the common duplicator and get another copy of, of course, Crosby. And let's go. All right, so it's a six on five here. They got a Crosby as well. However, they don't have... Well, it's actually a five on five with the target dummy. But they don't have the benefit of coming back from the dead like we do. So 
I'm feeling pretty good, but I don't want Crosby to target multiple range units simultaneously. So I'm going to spread them out for sure. Let's do this. So Tumblegore almost falls immediately. Sargon's doing his best to kind of hang in there, but... Our strategy has always been to just, let's weaken them as much as possible with our first onslaught. And then let's get them on the rebound, right? Which has been working, I mean, it's been working good. It's been working good. Alright, more star tokens for us. We have 23 available, so we could get the army size upgrade. The skeleton war banner, okay. So that is quite interesting as well. We need to freeze the shop and get this, actually. Okay, so I could get the army size upgrade. I think I probably should. We can add a Sargon. Let's roll... I'm looking for Wolfgang now. There's no more... Uh... Yeah, Lucky Clover sold out. So I can get a rare duplicator. So let's definitely do this. Let's get it on Sargon. Alright, tier 2 Sargon. 1890 for the HP now. So we get 10 gold each time through. So we can afford an uncommon duplicator here. So I'll get this and we'll throw this on Dumblegore as well. And then basically we have the option of another Skull or another Dumblegore. It would be great to get Wolfgang and just throw him in. I guess let's go with another Dumblegore. Let's do that. Just need units that come back to life, right? So let's go with this. We bind the Skeleton Banner next turn. Alright, so this guy has a tier 4 Ragno. Alright, well, let's see how he holds up. And let's get Crosby on this line right here. Let's go. This guy's gonna jump. So hopefully we focus fire on this guy right here. Get him. Get him before he comes over. Alright, so he goes down. That's good. Another power shot by Crosby. Come on, do it. Alright, there we go. That might be just enough. Might be just enough. We're gonna find out. See, coming back and just using your special right away, it, it's a super huge benefit to us, for sure. And look at this. I mean, you might get us the first time, but when we come back, we are coming back with a vengeance here, my friends. So we're looking good. Looking good, feeling good. Alright, so I could invest. I mean, that's still an option. We got both of the rank ups completed already. That's good. We're going to get the Skeleton War Banner. Yep. And then I'm basically like rolling for just tier ups. I mean, we just need to increase the tier of our units. We have our attack party pretty well figured out. Hey, how about this? We got Wolfgang. Beautiful. So this is absolutely tremendous. This guy is going to just synergize so, so well. And we can give him the Skeleton War Banner, which effectively makes him a skeleton. So now he comes back along with the rest of the Undead Horde. Alright, beautiful. Uh, let's see, anybody else we want to add? Nope, and I'm not going to start paying for rerolls. We're going to just invest next turn, I think. Alright, so very effective turn. You're going to love this Wolfgang guy. Now, how can I find a way to get him up to at least tier 3? That's the next challenge, of course. Alright, so this guy has a Crosby. With a Mage Banner, interesting. Okay. 
I mean, ultimately, I, th I think that's all right. I'm not really too concerned about it. Let's do something like this. Let's go. I've got confidence in the team. I think we're good. A Crosby is just hanging back here, taking shots, and using that power shot, which is great. Here goes Wolfgang. Werewolf form. That's when he becomes just an absolute monster. And now we don't even have to rely on the resurrection. Although they're resurrecting as well. But we're coming back. We're going to special. You bet. Come on, boys. Hang in there. Absolutely. The better player with the better on one this day. Did real good there. Did real good. All right, so I have exactly 13. But let's get our level up figured out. So expert planning. Only one unit in the front gains 25% maximum HP. One unit in the back, 25% attack damage. I mean, we could we could mess around with that for sure. Well, as you have gift of gold, 25 gold, just right out the gate. For some one of your units gets a kill each combat, they gain 50% max health shield and spell power. Units in your front line gain 25% attack damage and 25% max HP shield for the first 12 seconds of combat. Minus one army size. Gain two random tier three rare units. I mean, I like the gold, just immediate gold, so we can bolster our equipment selection. Or this. And we can mess around with this just a little bit for sure. Plus 25% attack damage. In the back. HP in the front. Let's go with the Gift of Gold. Items will increase attack damage as well. So we've got Eden's Blade. Marksman's War Banner. We'd have to find a way to add... Another Marksman, which it doesn't seem likely, right? So let's just go ahead and let's buy some good gear. So we have the sword, we have the crystal. Sword crystal gives us mana regen, attack damage. 100% the wearer's attack damage is spell damage and have 100% life steal. Okay. So I love that. Let's go with Eden's Blade as well. And I'm thinking Wolfgang with this, right? The only drawback to Wolfgang was that he's not a skeleton. Well, now he is, right? So yes, let's transform him just a little bit. We also got a buckler. We could throw that on Sargon. Give him a little survivability. I think that's money well spent. There's still a rare duplicator out there. Gotta make sure that... I buy that next round. Alright, looking good. Let's go ahead and... So I can invest or I can roll. Let's let's see what the free rerolls show us. Ivy. We have a whole bunch of nobody. Alright, so let's invest. And let's go. All right, so this guy has three tier fours. Wow. And they're all dwellers as well. Interesting. So he's going to be summoning a Geo Guck. So what if we just got, what if we just loaded it up on this guy? I like it. Let's do it. Maybe we can kind of collapse their front line and then get to the back. Take out the weaker of, of the two frontliners, right? This guy has a lot of HP. My goodness. 6,000. Uh, that must be the power of just going all dwellers, I suppose. Got absolutely wrecked in this one. Wow. Except for maybe on the resurrection. Are we going to make a comeback here? Ha, we're going to make a comeback here. How about that? Man, the skeleton deck is just so strong. 
So we are one win away from victory here, my friends. So let's see, what can we do to sort of bolster what we're doing? So what does the shield and the meat do for you? Allows you to taunt. Otherwise, the shield and the sword gives you some life steal. But he's already got one of those. You actually can't duplicate combined items. We have the staff. I mean, we could have him rocking some taunts, but I want to get this rare duplicator and maybe even the uncommon duplicator. And I'm going to roll. We got a ton of star tokens here, so let's exhaust our rolls. Let's add as many units to the field to get some tier upgrades, right? Sargon, I mean, we're already off to a really good start here. Here's another Sargon, absolutely. Do we want Deshret over Ian? Deshret is a frontline force. He's also an uncommon. Yeah. It's either that or we go with him over Skull. I think the Shret is probably a better choice. Alright, power roll. Another Sargon. You bet. So that's a tier 3 rare there. Another power roll. A Dumblegore. Absolutely. And that's about it. Unless, of course, we sell something. So let's roll one more time. Nothing. Alright, a whole bunch of nothing. Uncommon duplicator. So we can go with this. Let's use the rare duplicator on Wolfgang. Uncommon on Dumblegore. And I think we're good with this. So let's rock and roll. Alright, so if we win, we are the champion. If we lose, we still have several more hearts to go. So I'm going to put Sargon on the top here. We're going to go target dummy and you. Just stall them for as long as you can while our back line does what they do. Right? This guy's a frontline unit, so let's get him up. Let's go. Alright, boys. Just know that if you die, it's okay because we're coming right back, aren't we? So here's Wolfgang. He's in the back line now. It's causing havoc, but my goodness, this Ivy. A tier 4 rare. Wow. That is an impressive unit right there. In fact, we might be out of luck in this one. I guess we're going to see on the rebound, everybody special procs off. Causes a tremendous amount of damage to everything. They're all in on the, the tree folk, it looks like. And this will be a pretty close one, it seems. All right, so their ivy finally does go down. A tier 4 rare. You don't see that every day. And what do you know? Crosby leads us to victory. A tier 3 Crosby only, too. Well done on your win. How about that, my friends? Has to find your own. So I think our very first fight we lost, and then we just ran the table. Got that rating up. Let's check out the run summary here. So yeah, I mean, really good synergy. I think we got nice and lucky with the Skeleton War Banner. It's an absolute joy and blessing bringing Wolfgang back on the Resurrect, right? I think it does a lot of positive things for us. He's a very powerful character. Most of the rare units are. So what I've learned in this is... You know, you might become enamored with some of your uncommons. Like, obviously, Crosby is a very effective uh, common. Not uncommon, but common unit, right? However, you don't want to have a full team of commons because they just don't scale very well toward the end of the game. So it is good to mix in some uncommons and rares, and I think you can do that by investing early and often and getting those upgrades as you can. It's okay to lose a match or two. As long as you're losing with the opportunity to make your team better, right? Like maybe you're just one card away from another tier up or another gold payout away for another item or something like that, right? It's okay to lose. But in this particular one, we lost once and then ran the table. Fun stuff. Fun stuff.
So I want to say thank you so much for your viewership. I really do appreciate you spending some time here on the channel today. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a like. That really does help me out. And please also consider becoming a subscriber. We're a very consistent channel here, I like to think. And coming out with new content all the time, pretty much on the daily. So if that sounds good to you, sounds good to me, become a subscriber, join a growing community. I'd really appreciate it. You'll have to let me know in the comment section what you're thinking about Tales and Tactics. Do you want to see more PvP runs? Like I said in the intro, I think this is the prescribed way to sort of feature this game here on the channel. I do enjoy playing it. I think it's a really well-made game, and I would encourage you to give it a shot too. Link in the video description below if you want to try it out. It's not a free game. It is not a demo form game. It's a full release version. So you will have to pay just a little bit, but in my experience, it is well worth the price tag. So with that said, my friends, I'm going to get on out of here. Thanks again so much for your viewership. Really do appreciate it. And I'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks a lot.